Hey guys, what's up? It's Oracle Bay 444. I'm God's favorite daughter and I'm back with another message. As you come in, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I would truly appreciate you. I am currently not doing any readings, any personals. Um, they are closed until April 1st. So if anybody reaches out to you with a picture of me on any website or social media site, it's not me, okay? So please don't get scammed. Um, also, make sure you check out my interview um, that I was featured on in a podcast. It is linked in my description down below. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, first and foremost, if you know your worth, go ahead and drop a diamond emoji down below. OK, because I'm really the channeled message is that people know your worth. They just hope that you don't. Because if you don't know your worth, that means they could do you how they want. Okay? So yeah, drop a diamond emoji down below <laughs> if you know your worth. I'm going to actually go ahead and shut off the chat. You guys can still chat. But um, there be too many trolls in here for me. So um, I won't be able to see you guys' comments. But just know I do read them after the video. Okay? <clears throat> but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Because people, people know what and who you are they're hoping that you don't because it'll allow them to get away with much more okay let's see what we have here for the collective speak to me speak through me okay What do we have here for the collective about their worth, okay? Yeah, we have the Four of Pentacles here. <clears throat> so the Four of Pentacles, I'm also picking up like people get stingy with your energy or they get like possessive. Like you notice that being a chosen one or someone who is high vibrational um, or just a child of God, okay? However you claim or whatever you claim people tend to get possessive with your energy um they don't like to share it because they know what it is that you have within you and if you don't know what you have in you then this person basically what they will do is they will um like what's the word they will harness your energy and keep it from everybody, from you, from other people. They'll try to play you like you're not worthy. They'll try to uh, make other people see you in a different light. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So it, that's how you have to be careful because I'm really picking up that lately people have been possessive over you. Like mine, mine, mine. That's what I'm hearing in my head. Mine, mine, mine. Okay. I'm also picking up um, you having to build up your your worth, okay? Because so many people try to diminish you or play you or um, keep you from finding out who you are. Like, because not everybody is worthy from the go like no not let me let me switch that up everybody is worthy but it takes some people longer to realize that mm, excuse me <clears throat> and i'm really picking up you had a lot of shit in your way to keep you from figuring out your worth it's like everybody around you knew your worth except for you but it wasn't because you you didn't feel worthy. It's because other peop people made you feel unworthy. So the more you try to discover um, this worth or this, I'm hearing hidden artifact, okay? You're a diamond in the rough. That's really what it is. Hidden in plain sight type energy, okay? And the more that you tried to uncover yourself or improve yourself or anything to that effect, people got offended by that. Because the moment that you realize who you are, it's a wrap for them. Okay? Oh. What else do we have here yeah look i can't make this up okay we have the power card here this is all about energy this is all about strength okay this is all about um confidence okay a lot of people were trying to 
knock your confidence down. Okay, you could be a Leo, sun, moon, rising, or north node. You don't have to be, but that could resonate with you, okay? And I'm also picking up um, people don't want you to know your worth because they don't want you to get attention. Look, both of these are Leo. Victory and success and power. People don't want you knowing your worth because you'll get more attention than them. The people who don't want you to know your worth are attention seekers. That's literally what it is. And they feel like it's like someone making fun of someone else to make themselves feel good. But it's them trying to make you feel unworthy so they feel more worthy. That's not going to make you a diamond by putting dirt on a real diamond. Do you feel what I'm saying? <clears throat> I'm actually going to put these here. I'm also picking up on people picking at your flaws, but do you not understand a real diamond has a bunch of flaws? Like literally an actual, um, a cut diamond has flaws. And, and I'm picking up on someone picking at you, bullying you to make you feel less than everyone else. Whole time, you're the most expensive thing in the room. You're the most energetic thing in the room. You know what I'm saying? But something about you having a flaw that's visible. You Something about you is more visible than it is to other people. Because you can't see everybody's flaws. Some people can hide their flaws really, really well. Because it's not something you can see. Most of the time, people have flaws that are like within. Okay, something about a flaw that you have, it, it can be easily shown. Okay? Or something like that. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles. I'm picking up you're worth much more than you've ever received. Okay. I'm also picking up that your worth is not based off of what you have. Because Nine of Pentacles is material harvest. That's like... Um, materialism basically okay your worth is not determined on what you have it's who you are okay nine of pentacles you could also be a virgo so leo virgo you could be leo virgo cusp something i'm hearing grain grain going against the grain or something like that And it's crazy because a lot of people who are worth a lot, who are diamonds for real, they go through the most shit. Because like I said, they have more obstacles when it comes to them figuring out who they are. And I'm also picking up, someone don't want you to find out for real what you're worth. Like, and I'm also picking up, this isn't going to be for everybody, but we got four of pinnacles and nine of pinnacles out here. You could literally, something about your net worth. You could literally be worth a lot of money and you don't even know it. And I feel like somebody's in the way of you finding that out. Or something that you have that's a material is worth a lot of money and somebody don't want you to realize it. Okay, we got two of cups here. That's unity. You, that's um, I'm hearing united. Unite, union. Somebody doesn't want you to come together with something or someone because it's going to make you worth more. Like you're already worth a lot, but there's something or someone you're supposed to be coming together with. This could be like a twin flame situation. This could be... um. 
someone you're supposed to be networking with or something, anything. You're supposed to be connected with something or someone and it's going to make you worth a lot more. Yeah, look, I split the deck, Destiny. I can't make it up. I cannot make it up, baby. Mm. Yeah, five of pentacles, but somebody's in the motherfucking way. Somebody's always trying to make you feel less than. Somebody's always trying to, or this could even be somebody giving you half of something. Like, this could even be people not appreciating all of you. Like, they, or something like that. I don't know. Something about not appreciating something to its fullest degree. Okay? I'm also hearing conjunction. Financial and material changes. Yeah, somebody thinks because you don't got a certain amount of money or you don't hang with a certain crowd or you don't do a certain thing that you're not worthy. Who are you to determine? Five of Pentacles is a loss. I'm really picking up. The only reason that people want you to feel unworthy is so that they will gain. That is so weird to me. That is so weird. But those same people, though, who be on you, making you feel some kind of way about yourself or trying to at least, those people ain't right I, wow those same people trying to make you feel unworthy how you gonna win if you ain't right within period lauren hill come again <laughs> yeah ace of swords and destiny how you gonna win and you ain't right within they're trying to deem you unworthy because this could be um outside appearance or like i said you don't have this or do that or whatever the case may be I, I, this really feels like discrimination in some way, shape, or form. But you were made in God's image. Therefore, you were worthy from jump. I'm telling you, this keeps coming out. Wheel of Fortune again. Destiny. The Wheel of Fortune is about things changing. It's fate. Okay? I don't know why, but I'm hearing that song by Chris Brown, Forever. Forever, ever, ever. I've been waiting my whole life for this one night. It's going to be me, you, and the dance floor. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I don't know why I'm hearing that song, but I'm really picking that up, okay? Somebody wants you to feel misfortunate. I, and I'm also picking up that song by Cardi B. She says, even if you got a fortune, if you lose me, you still gonna be misfortunate, nigga. So somebody, yeah. <laughs> People normally don't recognize your worth till they lose you that's that unappreciative energy that i was picking up on yeah eight of pinnacles or yeah eight of pinnacles positive movement forward okay Mm hmm. People want you to feel like you're not good enough to move on. Like like what you have right now is what you deserve and that's the best you're going to get. That's how people treat you and that's weird to me. Like they know that and it's crazy because I say this all the time in my readings. It's projection. How people treat you is literally a projection of them. If someone doesn't want you to move on because they think you're going to find better, it's because they ain't shit. They know that they're not worthy to be in your presence because they know the moment you realize your worth, you're going to get the fuck on. I'm, I'm really telling you that there is so much power in leaving. 
There is so much power in going no contact. There is so much power in understanding that where you're at is not where you always going to be. I'm not sure, but I'm picking up lilac, the color lilac. <clears throat> That's really giving like a purplish color, okay? Or something about lilies, like a stargazer lily. Yeah, deception and envy. A lot of people are envious of, a lot of people are, it's not even, the, they probably are envious to be honest. Um, but they, they're trying to create some sort of deception or illusion that you're not worthy in your current circumstance. Okay, because this is the seven of swords here, backstabbing. Okay. Illusions, confusions. I'm hearing Beyonce's song, um, 16 Carriages. Okay. It's like you're Cinderella. You could be a man or a woman, that don't matter. I'm really picking up that. Somebody literally lived a Cinderella life. Yeah, look, I split the deck. The Empress. I can't make it up. This is Cinderella. The Empress is Cinderella. <clears throat> That's crazy. I'm going to need you to know your worth right now. I, you're not worthy once you get that job, once you lose that weight, once you have that car. No, you're worthy right now. Not tomorrow, right now. Right motherfucking now. Period. Because when you, when you realize how worthy you are, you'll stop putting yourself in certain situations. You won't even allow certain shit to happen no more because you wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> Real shit. You would not put yourself in certain situations because you wouldn't do that to you. You wouldn't allow some shit to go down like that. That's why people hope that you don't know your worth because then they're going to pull this shit. Okay. I'm also hearing wolf's bane. Okay. And I'm looking at it and I was looking at this lion's mane. Okay. So something about wolf's bane. Somebody may carry that or you may need that. Okay. Because <clears throat> a lot of people that you come in contact, they don't feel worthy i don't care how they dress how they look how they act what car you driving what house you in neighborhood i don't give a fuck a lot of people that you come in contact don't feel worthy and they got more than you that's why you got to protect yourself from these leeching motherfuckers because they'll eat you out of house and home type shit home being your spiritual body okay Yeah, awareness is here. This is the magician. People don't want you to be aware of... Somebody doesn't want you to be aware of your destiny. Okay? Hmm. Okay. That's hella weird. Somewhat. Yeah. When you are unworthy, you kind of, when you feel unworthy, excuse me, because you've always been worthy. But when you feel unworthy, people hope that you sweep certain shit underneath the rug. And that's what somebody's doing here with this deception and envy and awareness. They hope that you don't see how they're treating you so they can continue to do so. They hope that you aren't aware of your true power, your true north, a.k.a. north node, your true gifts. 
so they can continue to steal them from you, siphon them from you, play in your face, play on your top. Wow, I said play on your top crown chakras right here. Not them playing on your top like the fuck I said, okay? Someone doesn't want you to remember who you are. You're worthy because my father God said so. <clears throat> Period. That's that. I'm hearing 21 questions by 50 cent, okay? Yeah, look, I split the deck. God is with you, period. <clears throat> Somebody's name is April. Reggie or Reginald. Yeah, we have Jezebel. So a lot of the people that you come in contact with be Jezebels. Or this is what people are projecting onto you is Jezebel energy so that way you won't feel worthy because Jezebel energy is nasty it's disgusting okay yeah you've changed they remain the same okay so you're constantly improving yourself Improving your worth, um, uncovering the deepest parts of you, and it's changing you. And when people see you change and they're still where you left them at, they're two things. One, conflicted, and two, envious. Because how dare you glow up on, on me? How dare you think you're better than me? It's not that I think I'm better it's just I'm better than that situation. You know what I'm saying? Like when you go through certain things, I don't judge people for what they go through. I've been through some sh shit in my life. I've done some shit in my life that I'm not even proud of either. But I'm too good for that situation. If that's where you want to be, if that's where you want to remain, I promise you I'm cool with it. I don't have to fuck with it. That's my choice. And you staying in that situation is your choice. When you know your worth, like I said, you won't do that to you. I didn't know my worth some time ago. So I was doing whatever the fuck I wanted to do to make me feel worthy. Whole time, I, it, was, I, it was me trying to get outside sources to tell me I was worthy. I didn't need that. I didn't need that. Yeah, because God was with me, period. Divinely connected, period. Okay? So it's like someone wants you to ask their permission for you to be worthy or something like that. Tanner, I'm hearing Tanner. Hmm. It's like I'm waiting my whole life for this one night. It's gonna be me you and the dance floor. What else we got here? <clears throat> Someone of high honor will enter your life. Okay, what did I say earlier? That two of cups, that spiritual union. Someone, there's a Jezebel who's trying to keep you from someone of high honor. Because you are also of high honor. That's why this person of high honor is coming in your life. Because you attract what you are, not what you want. Okay, so if you're attracting bullshit, it's because you're full of shit. Period. So there's a Jezebel energy. That's trying to keep you from a two of cups. That's high honor. And this is that same person who's trying to deem you unworthy. I, I knew somebody. I'm telling you, you're supposed to be connected. That's what two of cups is. It's a connection. It's a high level connection. It, it don't even have to be a lover. This could be just someone because the two of cups is also about contracts. So this could be a partnership, which what the two of cups is. Okay. Yeah. There's more to it. Okay. So something about this person that you're supposed to be connecting with. Um, it's like they're on the same caliber as you. And they're going to help activate or unlock 
parts of you that these Jezebels cannot because every person that you come in contact has a lesson for you or a blessing for you. You just got to understand which one they are. They're either going to be a Jezebel or someone of high honor. They're either going to be your lesson or they're going to be a blessing. Nine times out of 10, if they're a lesson, it's a Jezebel. If it's a blessing, it's someone of high honor, period. Okay, we got playing with your health here. I'm also hearing, quit playing games with my heart. My heart. Okay, I think that's by the Backstreet Boys or something or NSYNC or something like that. Not somebody trying to, I'm hearing cardiac arrest. I'm also hearing lymph nodes. Okay, that's weird. So, um, I'm hearing irregular heartbeat. Like my heart is beating, but in my ears, I it's like offbeat. Like I can feel my heart beating, but it my in my ears, I hear it like going off the beat of what like my heart is doing. So that's weird. So I'm picking up that there's a Jezebel in your energy who could be playing with your health. Okay, specifically with your heart chakra. I'm hearing we have three brains, our normal brain, our heart, and our gut. So, yeah, something about playing with your health. Because because the crown chakra did come out, too. So, it's like someone doesn't want you to remember, to know, to feel what it's like to be worthy. Hmm, that's that's strange. I'm hearing this person is fucking strange. They be doing some weird shit. Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you, love. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Okay. If you guys would like to donate, you can. You can send a super sticker, super thanks, super chat. You don't have to. It's not required. But if this is resonating, that's how you can show love to the channel and let me know. Um, yeah. Yeah. Why does this come, keep coming out? We got siblings here, okay? And recognition is here. So this could be a sibling, okay? Mm, 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 mm. Somebody could be sending you evil eye. It could be the sibling who doesn't want you to be recognized like because you're a real ass diamond real shit somebody could have just purchased some diamonds too your name could be diamond or something about a diamond i'm also picking up on princess cut like a princess cut diamond okay yeah we got rituals here and it landed on the magician so there it doesn't have to be um but it looks like this jezebel is a sibling who doesn't want you to get recognized by a two of cups aka high honor someone of high honor um, the sibling could be trying to swap destinies with you or doing some sort of ritual or dark magic to keep you from recognizing your worth. They want you to feel powerless. So they try to, they, it's like they're doing something to make you feel like they are stronger than you or more powerful than you. Even in a, not even just in an energetic sense, but like in a physical sense, in a, a mental sense. Like this person wants to feel smarter than you, better than you. Like... Because they don't want you to get recognized by a two of cups. It's like this person is hoping that you don't move on from your old life or your old habits or your old this, your old that. And that's what they could be doing with this ritual energy here is keeping you in a low, low frequency, basically. So you can't receive because you can't receive a blessing in low vibrational energy. Because remember, you attract what you are. If you're low vibrational, you're going to get some low ass shit. And a blessing is high vibrational, period. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Lord Jesus. Mm. 
Mm -mm. Yeah, okay? Showing narcissistic behavior. That's how you know who this Jezebel is that doesn't want you to know your worth. Because they're a narcissist. It's 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 giving very much egotistical. They can't let their ego go to think that someone else could be better than them. But it's not even about people being better than you. Just because someone knows their worth doesn't make them better than you. That's not what that means. Your worth is what you think of yourself. So this person, they they don't, they, they receive confirmation from other people to tell them that they're good or that they're great or that they're worthy type shit. They, like this person, yeah, this person is an attention seeker. Okay? And that's why they don't want you to get recognition because they feel like that attention will go away from them onto you. But y'all not even in the same class. Y'all not even in the same lane. Y'all not even in the same league. I'm hearing out of my league. She's out of my league, that movie, okay? Yeah, intentional. And it's right here on destiny. Yeah, someone's intentionally playing with your health. Okay, something about a new moon. We just had that new moon too. Ooh. On March 10th, I think it was. Yeah, look, suggestive programming. So this person doesn't have to be a sibling, but that's what came out. Um, is is using like mind control? Because remember, um, crown chakra came out earlier, so that's about your mental. Okay, so this sibling or this Jezebel person is doing mind control to make you feel weak, powerless, um, sick. Because the magician is here also. It, it could represent like illness. Okay. I'm hearing this person has a mental illness. This Jezebel, aka narcissist, has a fucking mental illness. Shit. Shit. I'm hearing Tanya. Yeah. Access through frequencies. So this person could do like low vibrational shit around you on purpose. Or like they'll they'll talk bad about themselves, but they'll be projecting it. So it's intentional for you. That's that mind control because energy is contagious. So whatever you're around is what you're going to catch. I'm hearing you're going to fuck around and catch a case, a case of the Jezebel, a case of the narcissist. So this person be trying to access your mind through frequencies. So they be on some low vibrational shit every time they're around you, which is playing with your health. This could be your mental health. Okay. And that's one of the rituals that they do. Give me one more here. This is some strange ass shit. I'm hearing Heather. Lionel. Yeah, your purpose. This has to do with your, yeah, your destiny. If you don't know your worth, you won't, you won't be able to step into your destiny because you're going to feel like you're not worthy of it. I'm telling you, and I, it sounds crazy, but it's facts. Because before I got to where I am right now, which I believe I am in my North Node, um, especially after reading my birth chart and everything, like my life path no number and all that, like I truly believe that I'm in my North Node in some way, shape, or form. I do believe it's bigger than this still, but I'm on my way. This person here, I feel like they don't want you to reach your purpose. So what they're trying to do is make you feel unworthy. Because if you're unworthy, that means you have to focus on that instead of your purpose. Because you can't reach your purpose unless you're worthy. 
but God has already made you worthy. You were already placed on this earth originally as worthy, okay? So this is this is some deep shit. This, they're doing this shit because you may already be in your purpose too. You could be doing something that's a part of your purpose and this person may not like it because you're getting recognition because that card did come out. It's giving six of wands energy, which I pulled as well. And the destiny card came out. So it's really giving you're in alignment with something. And this could be affecting this Jezebel or this narcissist to, in a sense that they don't like the attention that you're getting or something like that. Okay. Yeah, this person does not want you to get your life together. That's what this is all about. Because this person could, when people try to control you, it's because things in their life are out of control. They have no control in their life. So they try to control other people because that's all the control they can get or do or have. Okay. So yeah, this person's life may not be together and you're working on yours or something like that. Okay. I'm hearing Sicilian or Sic Sicily or Italy. Okay. We got 600 people in here. Whoop, whoop. How's everybody doing tonight? How's everybody doing tonight? What we got here? I'll take it. Yeah. Target is here. <sighs> I'm hearing your... This, this Jezebel or this narcissist or this sibling, this narcissist sibling or Jezebel sibling, whatever, is targeting you because even on your worst day, you're still worth more than them on their best day. This ain't got nothing to do with looks. I ain't say that. If you don't know what worth means, then go do some research. But this person is targeting you because even on your worst day, you're still beating them on their best day. Energetically speaking, right? Like, I'm telling you, you're worth so much more. I I'm telling you, even in your old fucked up situations, you're still worth so much more. Okay. I don't know why, but I'm hearing fruit of the loom is giving cornucopia. Okay. Heaven on earth energy. I'm hearing Adriana. Or AJ, that could be a girl or a guy's name or initials. Oh, nothing want to come out. Oof. What we got here for the collective? Let me know something. I'm hearing Gary. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, cleanse your energy, okay? And it's crazy. I just did a reading talking about how um, someone's in your energy and they need to get the fuck out. Go watch that if you haven't. I, I literally think it was my most recent video before this one. Like this person been in your energy for a minute trying to make you feel unworthy. Even if they are not making you feel unworthy, you still need to cleanse your energy because they're targeting you. They're projecting onto you. So those times when you feel less than, okay, that's this motherfucker. I'm hearing that song by Jaden Alexis. She says, hello, motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, that's too much. Spirit said, take it though. Hold on. Oh, oh, yep. Spirit said, take it. Oh, my mama. Okay. So we got God here. Okay. Earth angel, which I was, I was going to say earlier. I should have fucking said it too. Okay. So there's a need for you to cleanse your energy right now. Um, something about the God consciousness is what I'm picking up. Christ consciousness. Okay. Earth angel energy. 
if you are an earth angel, something about your purpose there's a need for you to always cleanse your energy, even if nobody is attacking you, even if it's just because you got so much people in your energy. Sometimes nobody is attacking you, and sometimes it's just because you have energy on you or in you that's not yours. You tend to take on a lot. You could be an empath, okay, is what I'm picking up on. Yeah, we have feminine here. So there's a feminine sibling. They don't have to be a woman. Because we all have um, feminine, and mas feminine and masculine energy. So this could be a feminine sibling, okay, who is a targeting you because you're an earth angel of the most high. You're literally God's ambassador. That's your purpose in this life. You were made high honor from the most high and no one else, period. And they played themselves trying to play with you. They're literally playing themselves by trying to play with you, Okay. Because it's like people don't understand when you get an earth angel in your life or a chosen one or just anyone who's kind or high vibrational or it don't even have to be all these names I'm saying. When you get somebody in your life like that and you play with them, you lose. You lose. And it's crazy because they will try to make you feel like you lost. No. It's the other way around. And then we also have unexpected money. So like I said, you're about to, I'm also picking up on God is about to make you worth more. Because people try to play with you to make you feel unworthy. So it's like God is going to bring you something to, not necessarily, because money doesn't make you worthy. But it's like God is going to do something for you to get you back on the up and up. If you know, you know, okay? I don't really know how to explain that. But I'm also picking up that unexpected money is part of your purpose. That's why you that's why you have to be on a high vibrational. OK, because you can only access this through frequency. So you need to be on a high vibrational frequency to access this unexpected money for your purpose, because a lot of chosen ones are supposed to have money. To be honest with you, you don't have to necessarily be rich, but you're supposed to have money kind of at your disposal. But it's for to do what God asked you to do. You know what I'm saying? It's for you and then for you to do what God asked you to do. Period. Whatever your purpose may be. Okay. Just like, um, for instance, um, what's his name? Um, Keith Lee. Okay. He became so popular. He's like a millionaire now, but he has enough money to do what he needs to do. Still talks about God and helps out businesses and shit like that and gives away money and this, that, and the third. So it's like when you in your purpose, when you in alignment, okay, yeah, yeah. So you got to access this unexpected money through frequency. So you got to be on some high vibrational shit. Fuck whatever they own, okay? Fuck whatever this person is trying to make you feel, all right? <clears throat> Where are we at? 42 minutes. I'm not going to lie, I kind of like how the comments are off. Like, I can't see them, so it doesn't distract me. So, I think I'm going to start doing my videos like that, okay? You guys can still comment in the comment section, but I can't see them. So, it makes it easier for me to channel. <clears throat> yeah. Made for you is here. This comes out a lot in my readings, too. Made for you. Someone doesn't like that you have a purpose or a reason, but we all have a purpose. We all have a reason. They just can't find theirs. Someone can't find theirs and you're so close to yours. That's why you keep getting targeted the way you do. Yeah, because you're. So, what did I just say? Because you're so close to yours. Destiny. I done pulled this card like twice, three times in like three different decks. You're, th this something was made specifically for you. That's why somebody wants you to feel unworthy. Because if you change, they can't attack you. They can't. They're going to feel like shit because they didn't do what they could to stop you or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. It's like this person was literally designed to attack you. That's how it feels. Yeah, intuition on fleek. So you already know who this person is.
yeah, mind your businesses here. That's what this person needs to do. Okay. Mind your motherfucking business, bitch. Two plus two, not knowing what it is, bitch. Long titty, no nipple, have an ass, bitch. <laughs> Woo, stop, stop. Yeah, okay. So that person you're supposed to meet is supposed to be a soulmate. Remember that two of cups that we had talked about earlier? Uh, that high honor? You're of high honor. So, of course, someone of high honor is coming to you. Ooh, baby. Mm. Mm. But God is not going to give you your soulmate if you feel unworthy. This person was literally what? This person was what? Made for you. Just for you. Okay? I'm also picking up you keep attracting Jezebels or you keep attracting narcissists. It's because you have this energy on you you need to clear. It may not even be your energy. It could just be old energy. Okay. We've got a soulmate out here. Somebody's sibling could be trying to keep them from having a soulmate or make you feel like you don't got one or something or... You influence those around you. So instead of this person feeling inspired by you or motivated by you, they're envious of you. That I feel like that's your destiny because it landed right here next to destiny too. How, what? Your destiny is to influence those around you. Okay? Something about being the example. A positive example, a role model. I'm also picking up that song um, by J. Cole. I think it's called No Role Model. I don't know if that's to do with anything. But I think that's it. Let me pull one from this deck just to see, like, I don't know what the collective needs to do or any kind of advice or something like that. This was a really good reading. Dang, it's crazy. I'm watching um, that TV show, Love is Blind, and I'm looking at my TV and it says the episode name is called A Family Affair. So this is definitely somebody in your family that wants you to feel unworthy. Okay, that is wild. <clears throat> wow, that card always comes out too. That's so crazy. Spirit said, take it. I wasn't. I was going to put that bitch right back in there too. The Order of Melch's deck. I don't know how to say it, but that's what we have. The Order of Melch's deck. It's embraced by light. Mission uncovered, don't give up. So your, yeah, your mission, your your destiny, your God-given uh, right or um, fate is being uncovered, okay? You're on a mission. And you being unworthy, I'm hearing I got 99 problems and being unworthy ain't one. Like, I'm really, really picking that up. Like, don't. <laughs> okay you know what i'm saying work on you for you don't worry about nothing or no one you've already been deemed worthy necessary and in influential powerful you've already been deemed this it's in you not on you i don't know who needs to hear that period bottom of the deck what is it sacred inner space sacral chakra tenderness and sensuality yeah show yourself some love because if you love you, you don't give a fuck who don't, period. So that's all I have for you guys. I appreciate you guys for being here tonight. You could be anywhere in the world, but you guys decided to be here with me. So if this resonated, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.